Well, hey there, Sharon Hornells from here, also known as Pajama Grandma. How to get your customers' mouths watering. Why would you want to get your customers' mouths watering? Well, because when our mouths are watering, when something's triggered a response in us to be excited about or actually to get our salivary glands going, it means we want it really, really badly. And that's how we want our customers, our dream customers to feel about our products and services. We want them to have their mouths watering. We want them to desire our products and services so much that they'll, one of my friends says, they'll body check their grandmas, <clears throat> not that we grandmas want to be body checked, to get your product or service. They will run to you and be attracted to you. This expression, of course, has been around since the mid 1500s, you know, mouth watering or to make your mouth water. But of course, it's been around since and the feelings that are associated with it have always existed. Sights, sounds, smells, even the thought of food can make our salivary glands get triggered and our mouths start watering. They're a natural physical response to the act of having to eat and survive. And anything that is tied to our survival is something that we want to be able to tap into in order to encourage people to be in relationships with us, to do business with us, to be a part of whatever it is and however we serve them. So how can you go about getting your product and services so appealing to your customers that they will actually make their mouth water. They'll be like, I gotta have it. My daughter, the my first thing I thought when I read this expression this morning was about my daughter's dog. She has a dog named Bean. And every time you pour the food into the dog dish, the little tinkle, tinkle, tinkle of the sound of the dog food hitting the bottom of the dish, she just starts to drool and salivate. And that reminds me visually that that's what I want my customers doing in a good way. I want them knowing that I can help solve their problem or I can help them get the result that they want better than anyone else. And that when they even think about it, think about getting that problem solved or thinking about getting the result they want, they automatically think of me. You know, it's just like Pavlov's dog. How do we train people to know about and think about us automatically when they have a certain desire or a certain problem that they want solved. Well, it's letting them know that we exist. It's serving them better than anybody else has ever served them, making sure that they have an incredible experience every time they come in contact with us or anyone else in our organization or that represents our organization. That means that every function of our organization has to be like a well-oiled machine. We have to have processes and systems in place that make sure that things happen the way that they should to give people an incredible experience with us. That means our accounting department, our um, invoicing, our delivery times and services and methods, our customer service, every aspect of our business needs to be run in a way that ensures a great experience for our customers, a smooth, seamless experience for our customers. And depending on the type of business you're in or how big your business is, sometimes those are big obstacles and big problems and big challenges to figure out. Uh, you know, 100 person business has a much bigger customer service challenge and employee relationship challenge and making sure that 100 people are treating your customers in the way that you want to make sure that they are treated than if you're a solopreneur, right? If I'm in charge of making sure that every contact with every customer is awesome, I can control that. But when I've got 100 employees or 1,000 employees or 10,000 employees, there's a whole lot of, of variability that can happen in that. That's why we want to have processes and systems in place that, that guide people in how to treat one another. Now, I say if you're just always kind and treat people the way you want to be treated, then that's a good rule of thumb, but that's common sense. And it's very hard to share common sense with other people because common sense is defined by each of us based on our own personal experiences. And, and so that's hard to, to teach people. It's hard to make a process that says, hey, use your common sense, do what's right for the customer. Because what I think is right may be very different than what one of my people that I work with thinks is right. So we have to find ways to continually improve our processes and our systems and to help make sure that our customers get an incredible experience. So today I challenge you to think about ways that you can get your ideal customers mouths watering them wanting your products and services so badly that they will actually trigger their salivary glands when they think of you. Maybe it's getting their attention in a new way. Maybe it's making them aware of you. Maybe it's honing up or, or you know, sharing up a process in your business that hasn't been necessarily serving your customers to the best of your ability. 
again, we can always continually improve any process that we're doing in our business. Nothing is ever perfect. It's never going to be perfect, but we can always be trying to do better. So would love to know what you think about this whole making your customers mouth water. Is that too manipulative feeling to you? Is that too, I'm doing it on purpose to get people to want to do business with me? Or does it make total sense to be in alignment with human nature and the way our minds and our our senses work? Is it, does it make sense? Or do you think, oh, that feels salesly and manipulative to me? Would love to know what you think. Share in the comments below. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting saying or an interesting idiom and what it means and how you can apply it to your business. Because remember, this is how people are behaving already. Why not tap into and find ways to make that work for you, your life, and your business to create the life that you want while you're helping others to do the same. That's it. Have an amazing day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.